Ella. We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Alexios. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Phoebe, you're not old enough. I can't look after you all the time. I can look after myself. I don't need anyone to help me. Even if that were true, it's not your time. But there wouldn't be any trouble. Promise. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. Besides, I love Kina to play with, since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with you. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. It's up to the fates, but I'd like to. The fates know we're best friends, Alexios. They'll make sure we meet again. If you say so. I say so. Alexios! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. Partners shake hands. The true sign of a man in business. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Alexios want to go? Megaris. <laughs> but we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? <laughs> the Oracle has spoken! <laughs> To prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen. Please, she'll do no harm. She'll help us. She will lead us. Silence! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
dishonor for the life he has snuffed. Look he is no Nicolas. Spartan, Nicholas. Don't. don't listen, Nicholas. Don't listen. No. No. Don't listen, Nicholas. <laughs> Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right there, let's get moving. Let's see how the sails have held up. Let's go! Salvage nearby, shall we pick it up? Buster! Let's move it! Commander, Rose can't pick this up. Water. 
damage from the flames! I lost a couple good men in the scrap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little Drachmi should sweeten the deal. So, you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine, I promise you. More speed! Keep up the speed! Go! Rowers, go! Speed up! Faster! Send Icarus up to get the lay of the land. That's my target.
I set sail soon. I want you to be with me when I do. You'll make a worthy addition to the crew.
Got him. Good. He'll be a valuable asset to the crew. Will he be enough? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities to recruit more people as we go. Something tells me we're going to need them. We should set a course for Megaris. A long voyage can be relaxing, but we are not really the cruising type. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a daring captain.
The Athenian dog Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. 
He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. You can't be his son. I heard his children died in Sparta many years ago. He adopted me into his household after his previous family failed him. I would never bring dishonor to him. Sometimes things happen in a way that you don't plan or expect. History has a way of remembering things strangely. You talk as if you were there. Maybe I was. Nonsense. You're too young to have witnessed such things. But enough of the past, let's discuss the future. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. It's my honor to serve Sparta. I've come to pledge my sword to the wolf of Sparta. If you wish to pledge your services to my pater, you can do so by helping me. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. How goes the war effort? The Athenian blockade was a desperate attempt to stop our advance through Megaris. Now we can prepare to drive them from this region once and for all. Our forward scouts are identifying key targets in preparation for our assault. Under the wolf's command, we shall be victorious. Your father, who is he exactly? Nikolaos, the wolf of Sparta. He was impressed with my skill when I was a boy, and took me under his wing. He trained me himself, and eventually adopted me into his house. He is my father and mentor. I live to make him proud. Surely you've heard of him. Just rumors, really. I doubt they do him justice. He is a great warrior, and a greater general. I would follow him to the gates of the underworld. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. I'll help you rid Megaris of Athenians for a price. Typical of your type. No honor or sense of duty. But your skills are better serving us than our enemy. The Athenians already have a mercenary working for them. They don't need more help. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. Where is the Athenian leader? He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. 
But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. This chest you want me to steal, why is it so important? An army is made of men that need pain. Take away the Thrachmi, and they lose all the will to die for other men's ambitions. The Athenians keep their treasure well guarded in the fort at the foot of Mount Yerania. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nicolaus. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mistios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. If I want to get close to the wolf, I'll have to help Stentor defeat the Athenians. I shouldn't waste any time. Be one of Stentor's scouts. Looks like he's run I'll into some every problems. Last Athenian responsible for it. What happened here? What business is it of yours, Mistios? 
Do you know anything about this? I'm a professional. And a friend. But what's that supposed to mean? If it had been me, I'd have been smart enough to try and hide the evidence. <laughs> Fair point. Whoever did this was brazen and foolish, leaving it to be so easily discovered. Or they wanted to send a message. Stentor sent me. I'm here to help wherever I can. Stentor sent you? Sparta doesn't fully control Megaris. Yet. It's easier for me to move freely in certain areas of Megaris than a Spartan. The Athenians have proven more resilient here than expected. But they will Before not Before Sparta, yes. I've heard the speeches. But until that glorious day comes, we should find out what happened here. Do you have any ideas? Not yet, but I will. I should get a closer look to figure out what happened here. The supplies are missing. They can't have gone far, though. They didn't use the carts. Looks like they went this way into the forest. These were professional soldiers, slaughtered to a man. I don't think bandits could have done this. I don't think I'll find anything else. I should report back. So, was it the Athenians? I found some fragments of a green crystal. Bandits, then. The mountains here are riddled with caves, and the war has made them brazen. Nothing about this adds up. In what way? There is no bodies. At least, not any assailants. Athenians would have taken the carts and their dead. But bandits would have left their fallen in the dust. But then who did it? I'm not sure. Whoever did this went into the forest. So I'll start by looking there. There they are. There's food being cooked near here. Is this a private gathering, or can anyone join? What? What are you? Please, please just leave. So, I follow the trail that started with slaughtered Spartans and stolen goods, and ends with you and the supplies, all hiding quietly in a cave. We just took the food. We didn't hurt anyone. You'd better tell me why I shouldn't just kill you and return the goods. Please. I'll tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> You're the sorriest band of thieves I've ever seen. By the gods, no! We're citizens of Megara! Please, show mercy! 
This war has already cost us dearly. Like the mercy you showed those Spartan soldiers? I... we... we just took some food. Irkanos told us to take it, said he'd make it easy for us. Irkanos? Yes, the mercenary. He said he'd provide food, told us the Athenians would never let their people go hungry. Explain yourselves. It's not wise to anger the Spartans. Please, we're not thieves. This is our food, our crops. They took it, left us with nothing. Our children are starving. So you repay theft with murder. A fine lesson for your children. Murder? No! Please, we never harmed anyone. Uh, Mistyos told us where to find the food. Everyone was already dead. Enough! I didn't come here for a debate. It's too late for talk now. I came to find who's behind this crime against Sparta. Stand aside. You don't need to die today. I'm returning the supplies to the Spartans. Then you will do so over our dead bodies. Don't be stupid. Take some food, enough to get by. I'll say I killed you and claimed what was left. They will be satisfied. But the food? What of our families? Your families will not benefit from your death. Accept my offer and don't steal again. It won't be me who comes for you next time. Yes, Mistios. Thank you. Ah, Harry, take what you can carry and go. Quick! Tito Tudo! Thank the gods they didn't try to fight. I wasn't in the mood to kill starving civilians today. Did you find the ones responsible? I found your supplies with a bunch of hungry Megarians. And? You stole that food from them. They were starving. The supplies were essential for the war and ridding Megara of the Athenians. Hungry Megarians are the least of your worries. But there's something else. Have you heard of the mercenary called Irkanos? Irkanos? Yes, he's working for the Athenians. So the rumors go. This is all he's doing. These mercenaries are persistent. I'll give them that. You've done well here. But if you really want to help Sparta, I have a task for you. What did you have in mind? Hunt him down. Show him that no mercenary dog will interfere with Sparta's plans. Since you have such a high opinion of mercenaries, why even send me? I'm sorry. It's just this man Irkanos is like a thorn in our foot. He's a menace to all Spartans here. Please, will you help us? I'll do it. If he's this much trouble, I take it there's a sizable reward? Of course. Just think of how much he'll have on him with all the drachmi Athens has given him to thwart our plans. I suppose you're right. Any idea where to start looking? He could be anywhere. Most likely, he's nestled up close to the Athenians. We've sent out a couple of patrols, but they never returned. And we can't spare any more men at this time. Fortunately, I'm not just any man.
Let's go, Phobos. So this is what war looks like. Not what the stories make it out to be. The capital, Megara. If the leader's anywhere, he'll be here. Yeah! 